Most of us know Filey as a popular seaside resort, with beaches and attractions which are a magnet for thousands of tourists in the summer season. And with attractions like the Seaburg Sanctuary at Benton Cliffs and the dramatic coastline of Flamborough Head just a short distance away, the town has much to offer. However, when it rains, the town's drainage system is currently running at capacity. Been a number of uh, sort of exceptional and non-exceptional rainfall events uh, in Filey, um, right back to 2002, all the way up to the present day. Uh, the flooding uh, is a result of the sewer that runs down the middle of Muston Road being um, hydraulically overloaded. In other words, uh, it can't cope with the amount of rainfall, with the amount of water that flows off the streets, off the nearby fields, uh, and into the sewer. Uh, as a result, it has to escape, it has to get out, and it does get out, uh, and unfortunately that's uh, into people's homes. Twice actually into the top of the house and once just under the floor, which soaked up the walls. So, altogether I've been out two seven-month periods and one five. Uh, for a long time, it, after each flooding, it takes me a long time to go to bed at night when it's raining and not set the alarm for sort of 12 o'clock three o'clock and so on, so I can get up and make sure the house is okay. It's frightening, and uh, you immediately think the first time, what things must I get safe? And it's photographs and things like that. The worst loss is the memories. Yorkshire Water is investing three million pounds to help reduce the risk, building a new sewer beneath the town's Muston Road. The bigger pipe links with a new storm chamber beneath the playing fields off Clarence Drive, which will be able to hold a million litres of rainwater underground, releasing it back into the sewerage network once the weather eases. Of course, we knew the closure of Muston Road was never going to be easy, and Yorkshire Water worked closely with the community in an effort to reduce the impact on the town centre. We'd like to add our voice to the traders urging local people to use the diversion along Scarborough Road to reach the town centre and to continue using their local shops, particularly while we're working in the area. Your support now really can make a big difference. The work is also complicated by the other pipes and cables we have to dig around, sometimes by hand. Not only do the crews need to be sure they're safe, a mistake could be costly and leave parts of town without essentials such as gas or electricity, so it's important we take care both during the excavations and when we're laying new sections of pipe. But the size of the new sewer and the fact that it runs down the middle of the road also means we have no choice but to close the road to traffic while the work's carried out. The crews from Contractors Costain are already starting early at 7.30 in the morning and only finishing when it gets dark, and that's six days a week. Costain's have uh, implemented many measures uh, on an effort to actually um, get the work done as quick as possible. Um, Muston Road is just one part of, uh, or the length of sewer that they're doing on Muston Road is just one part of the works. A significant other part of the works, in fact the majority of the works, has been undertaken in the Clarence Drive playing fields. They really are making Muston Road their priority as they understand the impact that the works is having on the residents and the people in Filey. We are very grateful for the patience of Filey residents and for the thanks passed on to the staff working on site. And we'd like to assure everyone in Filey that we will continue to make every effort to meet our deadlines while causing the least amount of disruption. In the meantime, we hope you can bear with us. We won't be in the town for long, but the benefits should last for many years to come. I wouldn't move despite the flooding because I like, I like Filey. <laughs>